guys it's friday march 25th we're starting our early morning hike descent and ascent again of the uh, foothills over here there's raven in front of me uh, we went to bed last night and we cut trail short by about nine tenths of a mile uh, and we decided to get an early morning start to beat the heat and to see the sunrise as you can see, that's Lancaster all the way out there in, in the far, far distance. That's where we initially started. Uh, so we are starting our early morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. We've been out here for about a half hour. Checking in later. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's March 25th, Friday. And you can see behind me that Antelope Valley. We're actually climbing out of the mountains that we were in to get across, you know, once we got across, we had to climb some mountains. Now we're climbing over these mountains and we're headed to a water cache, a water source. Uh, and then four miles after that, we've got our campsite. So, and then that'll be our, our day. That's our goal for today. Uh, and then after that, we have like, like four maybe four and a half miles and then we're off the trail so this is the second to the last day of being out here on the pct for this stretch i have another couple of friends coming in from chicago i'm going to meet them further south in a town called julian and then we're going to pick up and do another section there that caterpillar and i uh did not finish in 2018 because of the drought um so i'll meet them over there caterpillar go home so will our friends raven and rattler uh and then i'll pick up the hike with my two other friends who are from our hiking club but should be a great trip on that second leg of this pct adventure anyway I'm going to flip the camera on so you can see uh, my friends, Raven and Rattler, climbing up in the mountain ahead of me. All right, I'm going to flip the camera around. Well, you can see them up there. It's tough to film when you're climbing because you're gasping for air. There they go. And that's maybe about, maybe a tenth or two tenths ahead of me. So we'll catch up. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera on. So that's the update for now. <clears throat> anyway, I will sign off for now and pick it up later. Hope you're having a great day like we are. All right. back uh, as we start to come up this mountainside there's areas of what we call washouts where the water comes off the top of the mountain and loosens up the sand uh, kind of underneath your feet so you kind of start losing footing as you start to slide down a little bit but seems like that with that, that uh, can't even talk this morning seems like that is what most of the side of this mountain is going to be is little areas of instability so Take it in stride, one foot at a time. And from there, you just press on. All 
like if you see that washout over there we crossed it there and we could have took that washout all the way down to the trail but that was kind of steep so we decided not to do that morning spider morning caterpillar good morning And we'll go a picture, out. and we'll go a picture. Ready, picture, picture. Oh, that's nothing. Cool. All right, guys, we're gonna keep on pressing around. Raven, lead the way. Let's go. And guess what? I got you in the picture that time. <laughs> so I'll just kind of show you Raven's feet as we're walking here. That's probably the best way to describe it. Spider said kitty litter. It's kind of like what we're walking on. And as you can see from your feet, you just gotta navigate the best route. While using poles and not video camming. Yeah. <laughs> so for now, I'm gonna sign off. But first, let's catch the spider and caterpillar. Hey everybody, we are back. Okay, so we made it to that water cache. And uh, that was at 549. If you're keeping track of mile posts, uh, there was a lot of water there, and I wanted to send out a big shout out to that trail angel that maintains that that water cache. Because at that point in the trail, you know you sorely need water at that point because it's real dry from where we were down in the canyon to that point. So big shout out to that uh, trail angel. I'll try to find his name or her name and post it here. But so we are heading to our campsite and we are about three miles away from it. We're gonna get there a little early, enjoy the water we have and just chill out and uh, wait until the sun gets past this apex before we crawl out of our tents. Because uh, it's supposed to get up to 75 today. I'm pretty sure we're almost there. Anyway, just checking in, but look at this beautiful sight here behind me. How about that, huh? Beautiful. Finally got up to a location where there's pine trees. Okay, we'll check in later. Everybody. Well, we made it to our campsite, and uh, this is our campsite here. 
by those trees. I'll walk over in a little bit, but I want to point out the trail that we came on. So I don't know if you can make out that there's a trail right there. I'll zoom in a little. That's the PCT trail that comes up this way. It comes all the way up here. So we spotted this flat ground and decided to just camp here. Uh, get a get an early sleep and then wake up early and tomorrow is going to be our last day on the trail. We'll get off the trail tomorrow. But this is our campsite. And this is the view that we have looking out north. This is, that's looking out north. Pretty nice area. A lot of windmills, but if you look at the shades of those mountains, they're like different shades of blue and gray. Pretty nice. Beautiful. So yeah, we'll wake up tomorrow, hike down five miles to a roadway, and then get a ride to our hotel, and call it a, uh, call it a uh, hike. And everybody's gonna start heading home. I will head south about another uh, 300 miles south and pick up some other friends that are gonna be hiking. And I'll continue to hike the PCT a little bit more. Um, but first I'll get some rest and recovery days at the at a hotel over there in Julian and uh, heal up some of my wounds. Anyway, so that's it. I will pick it up in the morning and uh, wish everyone a good night from the PCT. Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, it's March 26th and it's around 625 in the morning. We just broke camp. And we're head, heading down five miles to the road, which will end our hiking trip. But like I said yesterday, I'm going to head further south to join a couple of other friends and hike some miles that we never finished in 2018 when Caterpillar and I were out here that year. And we didn't finish them again because of the drought situation. There was no water in those sections. And a lot of people were just flip-flopping, going north and then coming back the other way, but should be good. Um, so yeah, once we get down to the road, that'll be the end of this trip. Kind of bittersweet, you know. Sweet that we're ending, but bitter that couldn't go on because it's so beautiful out here. But after so many days out in the wilderness, we definitely need a, a break. And some recovery time. I know I do. I've got some wounds I've got to heal. And uh, once that's done, then I'll start hiking once more. Hope you enjoyed this trip like we did. Uh, but be on the lookout for those other videos that I'll make from my trip uh, with my friends uh, further south. Okay. Thanks for watching. Dang. Oh, there's one right there. I see him walking. Oh, yeah. He's like, chill out, guys. These are friendly nice people. One. Have a trip. You want to use your phone or you want to use mine? Use like that from there, you can. Huh? From, like, oh, how are you going to do it? Oh, there you go. All of them Brian's are there. Brian's going to do it. Oh, wow. We get... There's more? They're, they're all in the hell right there still. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs>
Hey guys, we are back and we are in Lancaster, California. Um, waiting on the train to take us back to Burbank. And here's the crew that conquered the Antelope Valley. Nice. Woohoo! And here's our train back to Burbank. <laughs> 